Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk to you guys about Classic Weapons Allowed for Infinite Warfare Competitive, and uh, this is really something that I've wondered about ever since Classic Weapons were announced, but last night on Twitter, Joe Seacott officially gave us a confirmation that as of now, all Classic Weapons will be allowed for everyone to use in Competitive, which really makes me happy because a few weeks ago, I was running Modern Warfare 2 Competitive with a friend of mine, and I was using the UMP45, which is one of my favorite submachine guns in Call of Duty history, and I'm pretty glad that I will be able to use it once again in a more current and populated Call of Duty game. Uh, the UMP is definitely one of my favorite submachine guns and one of the best submachine guns in uh, Call of Duty history. And uh, yeah, now for the sniper rifles, I definitely could see the uh, intervention being the main sniper rifle in the game. Uh, maybe that EBR if it doesn't get banned because you basically don't need to run uh, overkill on the sniper rifles. But uh, yeah, I could see that getting banned. But if it does happen, I definitely could see the intervention becoming the main sniper rifle in the game. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm pretty happy that we are going to be able to use these classic weapons in competitive. I, I really am curious to know how uh, the competitive side of Infinite Warfare is going to work because there really is a lot of stuff that needs to get fixed within these next couple of weeks here. For example, there's a lot of equipment that could be really annoying, like, uh, I don't know, that drone shield, I could see that getting banned possibly, but, uh, you know, at the same point in time, you know, it really is a tactical piece of equipment you want to use. Actually, there is a lot of tactical equipment you can use in the game, but, I don't know, depending on how players are reacting to all that kind of stuff in the beta, uh, could determine if it will be banned or not by uh, competitive game battles, UMGs, etc. But I really do hope hope the ban and protect system will be uh, making a return to infinite warfare because I really did like that system a lot I thought it was very tactical it required communication with your teammates and it also added a uh, certain type of thinking and a thought process you had to go into the match because you know say if a player uh, likes to run a certain AR in the game maybe you could ban that and totally change up the play style maybe they can switch to a submachine gun just there's a lot of thinking that goes into the ban and protect system so I really do hope that's going to return but uh, let me know thoughts about this guys down in the comments what weapon do you all think you're going to use the most in infinite warfare do you think you're going to be using uh, one of the classic weapons or whatever it may be? Let me know thoughts. Also, drop a like if you guys did enjoy. And uh, thank you for watching. I'm Averts. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later.